Hey, Dan here, and if you are young, if you are ambitious, if you are thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, then you must, must watch this video because I am going to share the biggest mistake I have ever seen people make when they want to start working for themselves. Back in my hometown of Vancouver, this mistake kills friendships, it kills families, and it will destroy your entrepreneur career before you even get started. What are we talking about here? We are talking about multi-level marketing. If you hear someone talk about referring your friends, uh, MLM, multi-level marketing, I want you to turn and run because it will destroy your network and your chances of any kind of long-term success. So one of the absolute, absolute best things about living abroad, I've been out of my hometown Vancouver for about five years now, is when I go to a coffee shop to work, not having to listen to someone pitching someone on some multi-level marketing pyramid scheme while I'm trying to get my work done because the pitch is always the same and it is always a load of bullshit. Now I wanna tell you three reasons why you should avoid multi-level marketing at all costs. Now perhaps you have not been pitched by a multi-level marketer yet, and if so, you are very lucky. What multi-level marketing is, is essentially a pyramid scheme, but not. What usually is behind it is some kind of product that needs to be sold. And yes, you earn a commission when you sell that product. So usually you have things like juices, magic potions, vitamins, all that sort of stuff. Mary Kay is one of the more famous ones. So multi-level marketing usually involves some kind of a product you need to sell and more times than not, okay, always recruiting other people. This is where the pyramid scheme aspect comes in, right? Sure, you could make enough money selling the vitamins, but it would probably take you about 300 hours each week to make minimum wage. So the way you really make money is recruiting other people. And when they join, they have to pay some kind of an initiation fee or now it's called a starter pack where they basically have to buy every single vitamin in order to be able to sell them. Okay, that part aside, you probably already know how that works. Now, what, here's why you should not get involved and should not actually join. So I have a particular fire for hating these people because I almost fell victim myself. My hometown, Vancouver, is plagued by multi-level marketers. And when you are young and ambitious and you wanna get into entrepreneurship, they use all the right words to essentially trick you and make you think that it's an entrepreneurial venture to get into multi-level marketing. It is not. So when they talk about sales and experience and learning, they'll use all these kind of terms that might pull you in. If you are a good person, an ambitious person, someone who wants to work hard, they'll pull you in with this kind of stuff. The reality is, is that you are basically becoming a unpaid sales agent, a commission only sales agent with very little support. Your training will come from someone who's almost as inexperienced as you are and really only involved to make a quick buck off the whole system. So first things first, the training that is promised is BS. The other thing is, who are you getting training from? You're getting training from this system that's really based on hype. And what you'll find, if you pay close attention to any multi-level marketing pitch, they usually talk about that one in a thousand person who made $10,000 or whatever it is in the system. They'll never reveal the averages. Ask them what the average sales agent earns and that will shut them up pretty quickly. So everyone involved in this kind of a system are people chasing like a pipe dream. They're chasing like this hypey, get rich quick sort of thing. Is that who you want to be learning entrepreneurship from? Is that who you want to be shaping your future? If you're a fan of this channel, I sure hope I've taught you better than that. So any training that's talked about is gonna be BS and it's gonna leave you worse off than when you started. The second reason to run from multi-level marketing as fast as you can is that you're teaching yourself to lie. If you look at multi-level marketing, it's all a misuse of language, right? It is a pyramid scheme, but it's not. It's multi-level marketing, right? Using little loopholes to get around the laws. You are essentially a commission-only sales agent. But are you called that? No, you are called an entrepreneur, a business owner, all this stuff. What you're doing is you're training yourself if you go through with it, which you will not after this video, promise me that. So you're training your brain to make language meaningless. And that is not a pattern that you want to get started with because it's going to destroy your ability to be disciplined, to reach your goals, to follow through later in the future. 
And the third and not final, because I do have a bonus one coming up, reason not to get involved with multi-level marketing is that it will burn all your bridges. Now, I don't care who you are, the people you know, your network is one of your most important resources. Now, whether you have a wide network around the world or you're just getting started out in business, maybe you're like I was, you're 21, 22, you know you want to become an entrepreneur and you're going to all these events trying to meet people. By the way, that's where they get you. They go and swoop in at these events, right? Your network, the people you know, is going to be so important to your long-term success. And what does multi-level marketing do? Same thing goes actually with some other industries I won't get into, but like insurance, sales, and, and financial planning, is they train you to sell to your family and your friends. Because they say the most valuable thing you have is your network, right? They don't teach you real marketing and business strategies. They say, hey, go sell to your friends, go sell to your family. Guess how many times you can call your friends and say, hey, um, let's go have dinner and then pull out some sales package before they tell you to piss off. I have multiple friends, I, well, no longer friends from back in Vancouver that I met when I was younger and every time they called me, they would have some kind of new multi-level marketing, some stupid pitch. And the craziest thing, one of the guys, he was a little crazy. He, I remember once he messaged me because I, I spoke out against it, right? I gave them shit about it and said, you know, do not call me, do not you know, this is stupid. You're throwing away your, your life going down this road. So this one guy messages me once and he's like, you know, I really sunk in. I want to thank you for what you said like a few years back. It's really sunk in. And I, I realized like I was just in this multi-level marketing thing and my, I was just obsessed and I, my, I wasn't thinking straight and all that. So blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, that's great to hear. You know, what are you up to? And he tells me what he's up to. It's another multi-level marketing scam just with a different way of describing it. So it tricked him again. The point is the most successful people you know, the people who might actually have some money to invest in a future company of yours, who might be able to open doors, those people are going to shut the door, rip up your phone number, I guess if they still keep it on paper, I don't know why they'd rip it up, throw out your phone number, delete it, get rid of you from their life the minute you start pitching them multi-level marketing stuff. So protect your network, do not get involved with multi-level marketing because those people you know now, five, 10, 20 years from now could literally be worth millions of dollars to you. They could be your investors. They could be your business partners, but not if you start pitching them some stupid pyramid scheme now. And if at this point you needed any more reasons not to get involved with multi-level marketing, I'll give you one more. Yep, that guy was a big proponent of multi-level marketing. Some of the companies he was involved in have been dealing with serious legal issues since. So now you know why you should not get involved with multi-level marketing. But what should you do to build a business? Well, to find out more, subscribe to the channel up here and I will do my very best to teach you all about building a healthy, sustainable, long-term business.